Catherine, describe to me how you guys finally make the intervention and how you finally rescue India. Well, <laughs> the initial intervention was a disaster. Not good. <laughs> and I did everything that you're not supposed to do, which is you're in a cult. And you're, you're brainwashed. brainwashed. And I know you're branded with Keith's initials. And it didn't go over well. At not all. at all. So she flew back to Albany. And I lost her. I didn't get to talk to her or uh, see her for almost an entire year. Like She was mm. just gone. But that's when, uh, step by step, I mounted, you know, a strategy. Um, at first, I tried to get her out privately because I didn't want to expose her in any way. That mm -hmm. became impossible. And I worked with a group. Then I worked with a group of defectives. Then I um, worked with lawyers, and I worked with the government, mm -hmm. and I worked with the media. And it escalated and escalated. And, um, and, and sadly, you know, I exposed my daughter through this process, but quite frankly, that was the lesser of the evils at hand. And my greatest fear was that she would end up in jail mm -hmm. because what she was involved with was criminal and dangerous. It's very difficult to extract someone from a group like this if they're not ready or willing to go because the amount of mind control and mm -hmm. pressure that they feel to stay loyal to the group or whatever is tying them to the group, whether it's collateral or a friendship or whatever. Unless the person wants to go and chooses to separate themselves, they're gonna be stuck. Yeah. And it was partly my choice to try to figure out what happened to me and understand what Nexium really was that, that got me closer out. It doesn't happen all at once, it's a, it's a process. Well, yeah. and, and even before that process, you were so into it, they actually had you recruiting other slaves. So you were the slave for Allison Mack at first, and then all of a sudden you had slaves underneath you. Yeah, that, that was a requirement. I mean, it was commanded of me that I do that. I did not want to bring people into this group. I thought for a while that this was just me and Allison. I didn't even know that there were other women involved. And when they commanded that of me, I was really scared because it's a, I didn't really know what I was inviting people into. I had just started this thing. I was six months into DOS by the time that they started demanding that I bring others in. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market, panic about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.